In this video, I will tell you about the offset command of AutoCAD. So here we have these two simple geometries and we will use offset command on them. So from the modify panel, select this offset tool. Now look at the command line. It prompts you to specify an offset distance. So let's select two as the offset distance and press enter. Now you need to select the object which you want to offset. So in this case, I'll select this line and now look at the second line. So now a copy of this line has been made here on this direction because our cursor is towards this side. But if I move my cursor here, a new copy will be made on this side. So you can simply click on this side of the line and a copy will be made like this. Now, if you want to create another copy of this object, simply click on this line and click here. In a similar way, you can keep creating copies of this line on either side using the offset tool and the gap between all of these lines is two unit. So let's now press escape key and press control Z. Now let's say that we want to make multiple copies of this line without selecting the offset tool again and again. For that, select the offset tool. Now specify the offset distance, which is two in this case. And now select the object and from the command line, select this multiple option. Now, you can see that our command is still in continuation even after clicking. So I clicked and still we have this command and now you can keep on clicking on the side where you want to create multiple offsets. You can repeat the process for this side as well. So now let's press escape key again and let's press control Z. Now, if you don't want to specify any particular distance for offset, you can use the through option. So select the offset tool and now here we have this through option. So let's select it and now select the object and now you'll notice that the offset geometry will follow our cursor so we can simply click here to make the geometry and you can select it once again and make another copy at some random distance dynamically by clicking anywhere in the drawing area now again press escape key to exit the command and press ctrl z to get back here now if you want to create an offset by erasing the source object that also you can do and for that once again select the offset tool and now from here command line select this erase option and here you'll notice that erase source object after offsetting option has been set to no that's why the copy of the original object is made and without erasing this object so i'll select yes in this case and now once again i'll repeat the process so i'll type 2 as the offset distance click on this object and now click at particular distance and here we have it the original object has been deleted and an offset copy has been made here so you can again go back to the offset command and go to the erase and change it to no once again and now if you offset the original object will also be retained you can use offset command on this geometry as well and for that I'll once again select the offset tool and now here also I'll specify the distance so let's specify one as the distance the offset distance press enter and now click on the object and now click outside and you'll notice that a copy will be made outside and now let's select the original object and click inside so we have two copies one outside and one inside and the distance between all of these objects is one unit so the distance between this rectangle and this one is one unit on all the sides similarly the distance between this line segment and this line segment of the rectangle is also one unit so let's now erase both of them and now let's look at some other options related to the offset tool so here the offset is making the similar geometry which we have made here but if you want to apply rounded corners on the offset geometry you can do that by changing the offset gap type system variable so let's type offset gap type and press enter and now here you'll notice that the default value of this offset gap type variable is set to zero let's change this value to one and press enter now we'll again make the offset so select the offset tool specify offset distance as one press enter and now click on the object and now click outside and now we have a different geometry here in this case the fillet has been applied or the rounded corners are applied with a radius of one unit so that's the same radius which is equal to the gap of this object or the offset gap in a similar way you can also apply a chamfer and chamfer is simply a straight line so let's erase this geometry and let's change the value of offset gap type system variable so let's type offset gap type press enter and now change this value to 2 and press enter now once again I'll select the offset tool 
again I'll select one as offset distance and now in this case instead of fillet a chamfer has been applied so I'll once again type offset gap type system variable and change its value to default 0 and now we can make the normal geometries using the offset tool so once again I'll select offset I'll select the through option and now click on the object and now you can see that we have a normal geometry here just like this